Hi, and welcome to Brims to Puzzles, and back to the sudoku -tude set of puzzles, this being sudoku -tude set number five. And this is Earthworms. Um, this is a ring band puzzle. Um, so of like all of the sudoku -tudes puzzle, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as a link to the sudoku -tudes backlog, um, which will include this pack when all of the puzzles have been released. Um, let's just get straight into it. Um, I think everyone knows the history of sudoku -tudes by now. So let's get straight into the puzzle. So what do we have? We have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then Renban. So digits placed on these purple lines must be a non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. So for example, we could, these are, this is a six length line. We could put the digits one through six on it. Um, we could put the digits two through seven on it, but we couldn't, for example, make both of those two because you cannot repeat digits on the line. And we couldn't put say one, two, three, four, five, and seven because, um, there'd be, there's a gap. You can't have a gap in the numbers. Um, if you take the numbers off and sort them, however they go, they must be a run of digits, but they could go in any order. So for example, you could put a one here, ignoring the other digits, a two here, a three here, a four here, a five here, and a six here. That is perfectly fine because that is a, um, a run of, or that is a consecutive set of digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, without repeats. Um, so there's, that's the rules of Renban. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So what do we know? Uh, let's look at Sudoku first, I suppose. Actually, no, I'm going to talk about the Renbans first because I think that's really critical. What do we know about a six cell long Renban with the digits one to nine? Well, it must contain the digits four, five, and six because if we start at one, one, two, three, four, five, six, it contains four, five, and six. But if we start at nine and count down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, it also contains four, five, and six. So every one of these lines must contain the digits four, five, and six. Well, where can the four go on this line? It can't go in any of those cells and the four sees that one. So that's the four. The six can't go in any of those. So the six is in one of those two. Um, the six can't go in any of those or there. That's the six. Um, can I do any more? The five can't go on this line because all of these lines are six cells long. Can't go in any of those cells because that five sees all of those. So it's in one of those two. So now we know we can't put five in any of those cells because that five sees both of those and that pointing pair of five sees those. So that's the five. Now there's no one on this anymore. So this must contain a seven because um, if I was to put a one on this line, where would I put it? There's, there's nowhere to put it. Um, that's what I know. So now the minimum this could contain is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that's interesting but I need more, it does need more. So the five on this line can't be in any of those. So it's in one of those two. So now we know there's a five in one of those two. Um, and the four, oh, this is a four, five pair because four and five can't go in those and that's a six. So this is a four, five pair. So um, that's kind of cool. Can I narrow that down any further? Maybe. Well, I can't put four or five in those cells, but this line needs four and five. So the four and the five are in those, but they're not in those. So this is actually the four, five pair. That's cool. So the four and the five on this line can't be in those. Oh yeah, this four, five sees all of those. So that's the four, five. It didn't even need that. That four and five sees all of those. And the six can't be here. So the six has to be in one of those two. Now the four, five and six, this four, five sees those and those. So this is the four, five. And the five resolves that is the four, that is the five. The six on this line must be in one of those two. Can I continue with four fives here? Well, I can see that the five is in one of those because um, I can't put the five in here, but I need a five on the line. So the five is in one of those. And that actually does do something because the five is in one of those. So I can't put a five in there. The five is in one of those. So I can't put a five in there. And because of this four five pair, I can't put a five in any of those. The four or five must be there and that must be the four. Now, 
six is in here because of the six here, six can't be in any of those. So six is in here. So I can't actually put six down here. So six is on here. I'm not sure about the four though yet. But now I know five, well, five is in one of those two. But the same thing is happening. Four, five means five can't be there. And five on the line here means five can't be there. So five is down here and I can't put five in any of those. That's a five. Okay. Ah, five is in those. So that's not a five and that's a five. Okay. Four on this line, not sure. Four on this line, I'm not sure either. Okay, so can I tell anything more about the nature of the lines is an interesting one. Because if I can force a digit onto or off of a line, that's going to tell me a lot about the nature of that line. This is a trick I like with REN bands, doing these sort of weird things. I've done it with five cell REN bands in the past. I wanted this white puzzle to be a little bit easier, so I did six. I vaguely remember that. So what are these digits? These are one, two. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So these are one, two, seven, and nine, but there's no one, two, or nine there. So that's the seven, and I can take seven out of those. Now, there's no nine here because of that nine. So this is a one or a two. So there must be a three on this line. Oh, the one makes this the two. So there must be a three on this line to connect to the four, five, six. But I think it could still be so in any of those. If there's a one on this line, it's here. Oh, the two takes two out of all of those. And this is a one, nine. If this is a one, this is two, three. If this is nine, this is seven, eight. And that's actually forced, which is interesting. Because if this is a nine, to get down to the six, four, five, I need seven, eight. So if this is nine, we have seven and eight. And if this is one, this is three and two, because the eight and the two will force the order. So the one actually has to be up here. So the one is actually, um, because I can't repeat. Oh, right. If this is a nine, I can't put a one on the line. If this is a one, yeah. So the one will always be up here. And with a one up here and a one here, there is actually a one in one of those two. So this can't be a one and this can't be a one, but I already knew that. And there is definitely a three on this line. If this is one, two, three, these are seven, eight, nine. If this is nine, eight, seven, these are one and this would be two, three. Hmm. Okay, bet you it's an obvious thing I've missed. Don't have much about this line, which is surprising. Four is in one of those three. One is down here. Yeah, one is not on this line. So there must be a seven on this line. Because one, that one sees all of those, and that one, and that one sees that one. Two could go in either of those, though, I think. I know two is in one of those two cells. Because that two sees those, and that two sees that one. If this is a two, then this is eight, seven, nine, and this is three, hang on. If this is a two, this would be nine, eight, seven. And this would be th one, one, three. This would be two, three, and that would work. Two, three, four, five, and this would be six, seven. Can I put nine in here? No. Where's eight in this row? Hmm, I don't think that's it though. I mean, I can't put eight there. 
Could I put seven there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could put, uh, I can't put, oh, this is a seven by Sudoku. There's no seven. Yeah, this is a seven by Sudoku. So this is a triple. Three, I've got four, five, six, seven, eight. And this can't be a six. So this is only three or eight. And we know eight is up here. So eight is down here. So there's no eight on this line because this eight sees those and the eight up here. So there is no eight on this line. So this line, seven, six, five, four, three, two, this line must have a two on it. This line is either one through six or two through seven. And it can't be two through seven because I can't put seven on it. This is one through six because that seven sees those and that seven sees those. So this is one, two, three, and six. And there's no three there. So three is in one of those two. There's no six there because six is in one of those two. So these are one, two, three. These are one, two, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine must be in there. So where's nine in this box? Or where's nine in this col? Uh, where's Eight and nine must be in there because I can't put eight, nine on this line. So eight, nine are in there. So I can't put nine in there. I can't put nine in there because of the lines. That's the nine. That's the one, which means this is two, three. This isn't the two. This is the two. This isn't the one. These digits are now seven, eight, nine. There's no seven there. There must be a seven on this line. But three... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, maybe it could still work. But these are three, eight, nine, which means that's not the three, that's the three. But there must be a three on this line, which must be there. So two, three, four, five. This is either one, six or six, seven, and it must be one, six because I can't put a seven on this line either. So this is one, six, this is the two, this is one, six. And these, I've got one, these are two, eight, nine. This is working. The two and the nine make that the eight, and this is a two, nine pair. Okay. The one makes this the six and this the one. There's no nine there. So one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is either six, seven, eight, nine, at which point that's a three, or this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at which point that's a nine. That has to be the extreme digit that's not on here. Okay. Have I got enough information to go further? What are these digits? These are one, two, three, and four. Well, the four makes that the three and that the four. And now four isn't in any of those cells because that four sees all of those in the box and that in the column. So that's a four, which puts four in one of those two, but that four looks down saying that's the four. And now four... Well, it can't be in any of those or any of those. Four is in one of those two, but that four looks across saying that's not the four, that's the four. Okay, making some progress. Let's look at this because we need to put one, seven and eight in, which means that's the nine, that's the eight, that's the three. Of course, the three here took the three out of here. This is six, eight, which takes the eight out of here. This is seven, nine, and that's resolved. That's the seven, that's the nine. So this digit, well, actually the triple in this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are three, six, eight, but they must contain a three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it could be just. But it must contain a three. Okay. Two, two, 
we know two is ah uh, we know two in this box because two 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 and two puts two right there so there's no two on this line so there's no one on this line and that has to be the one and we know what these four digits are now these are three five six and seven so we've got three four five six seven so this is either if this went down it would be seven six five four three two and it can't be so it has to go up making that the eight so the one and the eight look up making that the seven taking seven out of those and this is the three to complete the column the eight takes eight out of there and these are three five six seven well there's no three there or there that's the three these are five six seven the four looks up making that the five and that the four, which takes five out of those, making that the five. This is the six, seven. The eight, of course, looks up making that the one and that the eight. And now this is naked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a nine. And this is a triple. One, six, and seven. The seven comes out of there. So this is one or six for the row. And the one looks down, making that the six that the one and I can take the one out of those this is six seven the six makes this the three taking three out of there of course this five looks across saying that's not the five that's the five so I've got three four five six these are six seven eight nine to complete the box there's no eight in either of those there's no nine there there's no six in either of those of course there has to be a six on the line in here these are seven, eight, nine. There's no nine there. Can I take this further? If this was, well, there's a six in here. That, if, if this was six, eight, that would have to be a seven, but there'd also be a seven in here. So I can't make this six and eight. Yeah, if this was an eight, that would be a six. And in order to connect that up, there'd be a seven on the line. So there'd be eight and six. So if this is eight, this becomes six. Eight, six. Seven would be in here, but to make the line work, I'd need to put a seven here. So that's the six. That's the seven. That's the nine. That's the eight. The seven looks across making that the six and that the seven. The six looks up making that the eight and that the six. There was possibly a better way of doing that, but that's the way I found. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it can't be. So that's the two. This column is missing one, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven. These are now one and eight. The eight is looking across making that the one and that the eight. The one looks across making that the six and that the one. The six looks across making that the seven and that the six. And the two looks across making that the nine and that the two. And that is the solution to earthworms. Um, yeah, I really like playing with these longer Ren bands and forcing those mid digits and then having to force what they are. Ren bands is probably my favorite constraint. It used to be killer, but I think Ren bands is actually more interesting. Um, I really like playing with Ren bands. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope you like this puzzle. And as always, good luck with your solving.